What's up, y'all? I just finished up picking up a bunch of shoes from my friend Jen. She also buys storage units. So I picked up a bunch of shoes from her. She doesn't really deal with shoes. I work out deals with her. I don't really deal much with electronics. So I swing that stuff to her. She swings a lot of shoes and clothing to me. Um, I just did the bulk buy with her. I'm gonna show a little interaction here. And then at the end of the, after that, I'll do a full breakdown of everything that I got today from her. I paid 200 bucks for everything, which I think was a really, really good deal. I do have a lot of work to do on these shoes, but it's nothing I haven't, haven't, it's nothing I haven't dealt with before. I appreciate y'all and hope y'all have an amazing, amazing day. What's up? How's it going? How are you? Good. How you been? Living the dream. Uh, <laughs> all right. What do you got for me today? A bunch of good stuff in there. Sweet, sweet. Was this from that last unit you got? Yep. Sick. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, you brought the good shit. <laughs> These are pre-owned, right? Just in the box? Yeah. Good shape, though. Mm-hmm. I think I have some electronics for you next time I see you. Okay, cool. Sounds good to me. So, so you know the rules. Give me a good price. All right. And I'll get you a good price on the next one. <laughs> now, this, these are all pairs, right? Like everything is good to go. I yeah. trust you, but yeah, everything is good to go. Pairs. Okay, cool. Good shape. Everything like that. Cool, cool. I still gotta hit the post office, so Copy. I'm just trying to be speed. <laughs> They're rough, but I'll take care of them. Cool. I'll take care of them. I got my shoe cleaner today, so. Perfect. Should be good. Um, what are you looking for on the whole box? I'll just uh, take the whole box, honestly. What do you think? Do you hand it for everything? That works for me. All right, cool. Get you on the next time? Hit me next time. I got you. I got you. All right, y'all. It's a couple of days later, but I'm finally starting to get into these shoes. I'm a little backed up on my uh, inventory pile right now. So I'm still going through all the shoes that I got. If you guys... Get the whole bin here so you guys are gonna see it as i see it but there's a lot of great shoes in here from what i saw uh, when i met up with jen the other day so let's get through these y'all first thing we're gonna go through some of these box shoes just to get them out of the way but we got this new in box so well these are the Sorel Tavoli 3s. These are size 6. These are not new in box, but they do have a box. So they do have a little bit of wear to them. So, but in very, very good shape. So these are Stuart Weitzman, one of my favorite brands to sell. Don't find it often. But a lot of these shoes do have some work to be done on them. So I'll make that happen. Clean them up a little bit. Wrong size. Wrong size. Let's do a wide spin. These are a size. Seven. So these are size 7B. Last pair that we have boxed are these Gucci. These ones are in really good shape. Size 38C. So, size 38C Gucci. Get you guys in there, Gucci. That's it for the boxes.
next up i have to build these pairs as i go but next up one of my favorite brands to sell i actually just sold a pair. i just sold a pair of these like an hour ago um these are ufos these are recovery oh no these are not the same ones but they're like recovery flip-flops i just sold a pretty similar pair of these over on poshmark for 30 dollars say these are a women's seven ufos be sure you're looking out for that little logo right there fantastic sellers all right next we have a i don't know what these are there's no name on these but they are a pair of nikes so we'll just go with that these are nike i'll give you guys the style code and in about 10 seconds there'll be some editing magic popping up right here show you guys what that is these are Nike nine zero eight nine 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 dash zero zero one. Just regular Nike sneakers, like running sneakers. These are a size seven as well. Size seven Nikes. They got these. This is a brand I have yet to find, so I'll see how I do with these. I'll let you guys know about them. But I've heard good things about them. But you know what they say. You never know how good it is. I guess that's what they say. <laughs> um, this is Bally. So you guys can get your cover there. Bally, they're like slip-ons. Um, I've seen a few people do well with these, so um, they were in the deal. So we'll see what happens. But nice. these are definitely like older. Um, a lot of these shoes are going to be older. Uh, how old? I don't know. But these are size 37. Uh, I don't know what that translates to right about now. Valleys. A couple of scuff marks on them. I'll clean those out pretty quickly. Okay. Next up is another one of my favorite brands. This is Tory Burch. Tory Burch. That's what the logo looks like right there. Be careful with this brand because there's a lot of brands that have similar logos to this that will fool you at the thrift store so that's pretty much what you're looking for on the inside there you'll see the little ttb and then i'll say tory birch and you'll always have this logo on there somewhere and they're on the bottoms as well pretty decent soles though for the condition of them so this is always a good selling brand for me next up you have another pair of those valleys these are, these are size seven valley the gold little lock buckle lock buckle and size 37 and a half so those valleys i'll do a little clean up on the bottoms but overall they're in good shape next up we have a pair of oh i love these sold a pair of these recently very quickly they were a bigger size though i haven't done i haven't sold the women's i did sell a pair of men's so so you're looking for that little that little vintage ll bean tag right there you go this is the main hunting shoe in case sometimes they do have the tags missing on the inside so that's what you're looking for the main hunting shoe just know that that's by ll bean um You'll see on the bottoms, made in USA, and this is a size eight, size eight, main hunting shoe. Look at these rubber ducky boots, great sellers. Conversion rates on those are phenomenal. All right, next. Let's see what the other one. These are in good shape. Size 37 and a half C. So these are Gucci. Gucci boots. Gucci boots. With the small heels. Size 37 and a half C. Let's see if you guys can see. Get in there. Get in there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. but Gucci boots. I believe they're called like kitten heels or something. And these are size 37 and a half C. 37 and a half C. These are actually in very, very good shape. So. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
These are a pair of Uggs. Oh, these are size women seven. Women seven. Even the Uggs are older too. These are an older, an older Uggs. Maybe early two thousands, early to mid two thousands. I'm not sure when Ugg came out, but these are definitely older. It's an older tag. Made by Ugg. Women's seven. Women's seven on these. Anyway, good shape on those two. <coughs> Next up is a pair of Nike Cortez. These are Nike Cortez Ultras. Uh, 859-540-001. These are from 2016. And these are size six and a half. Six and a half, yep. Nike Cortez. These are in pretty good shape. I'm going to clean up these bottoms. There's some freaking rock stuck in the bottom of them, but these will clean up very, very good because the overall shape of them is solid. Dun, 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 dun. <sighs> these are a pair of Brooks Brothers. I've never had Brooks Brothers shoes, to be, uh, to be totally honest. Brooks Brothers, leather, um, boots. Is this the other one? Brooks Brothers Genuine Leather, size 7. These are a nice, nice little pair. Do a little leather cleaning on these, but they're in pretty solid shape. Pretty solid. This is, the, this is, my, this is my clip. Perfect. Give me enough time to screenshot. Brooks Brothers Leather Boots. Nice style to them. Um, well, these are definitely vintage. Just making sure they're not dried out. These are Prada. To be honest with you, these are definitely a little dry. They're not. They're not dried out, but just making sure. I have to do. Yeah, I think these are too, too worn. Yeah, these are a little too warm, guys, but, um, this is a pair of Prada kitten heels. I'm just gonna make sure they're not dried out. I can't really tell in the lighting. Um, that's this one. Definitely an older pair, so if they weren't tell, if they weren't taken care of with the right cleaners, they don't, ah, uh, they don't feel, like, dry. I'll do more. I'll do more research on those. I don't know if I'll list these. If I do list these, you'll see the uh, what's called. But these vintage pair of Prada kitten heels. If I do list them, you'll see the listing right there. If I don't list them, you'll see a big thing that says "Did not list them." Next up, another phenomenal brand. I love this brand. I've only had, I think, two pairs. And they were not in my possession for very long at all. This is Todd's. Todd. Todd's. T-O-D-S. Todd's. These are a pair of like solid heels here. These are a size 37, which I think translates to a six and a half. Good tread. Very, very good shape. Very good condition on these. Probably the best condition Todd's I've ever, I've ever had. Really good shape on those. Next. We have a pair of, these are Gucci, Gucci 37Cs, which is the other one, mm, I'm not seeing this one, hold on, oh wait, there you go, Gucci, little block heels, definitely some wear on them, clean them up as much as possible, but other than that, the body of them is in very good shape. Gucci, Gucci. Mm -mm -mm. This stuff does not excite me, guys. This does not excite me. I mean, I know there's definitely some good money here, but I am a. I prefer sneakers. <laughs> But I really don't care. I go with I go where the money goes. 
These are another pair of Prada. These are those kitten heels. These do very, very well. These are very on, on style right now. These are a size 37. Prada. Let's see if you guys can get. And my phone storage got full. So, but yeah. Prada. All right. Next up is a pair of Gucci. These are very similar to those other ones I think that we had. Yeah, so basically the same ones, but these ones are in black. The block heels, Gucci. And the camera went out again. Storage was full again. Gucci, let's get through these last few pairs here. Then we have these Prada kitten heels again really good seller they're super on trend right now these are a size thirty seven size thirty seven on these which I think was a six and a half Prada a few more pairs to go to you and we are done I promise these are C, C by Chloe, block heels. These are a size 37. They're in really good shape. C by Chloe, strapped. Let me see if I can get you guys the logo there for you guys to see. C by Chloe. Okay. Next up, we have a pair of Celine. Celine kitten heels, pointed toe. Let's see if you guys can see that here. Celine with the kitten heels. These are size probably 37, if I had to guess. 37C on these. Celine. These are like a pair of ballet flats. And these are. Let's see if you guys can even see that on the inside there. That is Versace. Versace. Oh, they do have them on the bottom as well, if you guys can see that. Versace is going to require some cleanup on these ballet flats. And then, got these just pair. Regular pair of Nike slides. Nothing special. Nike sportswear slides. Or quilted. That's it. And then the last pair are these Ferragamo. Don't know what size these are. Something size seven. Size seven M on these. Salvatore Ferragamo. Decent shape. They're gonna need to get cleaned up though. Salvatore Ferragamo. But yeah. That's it, y'all. Um, yeah, so all that stuff, 200 bucks. I'm definitely gonna have to hit her back, um, hook her up on the next on the next deal. I got some electronics stored for her, but we work out deals all the time like that. So, um, great, great price, I think. And we'll see as we go. And I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome rest of your day. I appreciate y'all. Much love. Peace.